what's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Hoi An? For me, it's the colour yellow painted on the walls of the well-preserved historic buildings in the ancient town. Within the small city, there's a mix of different cultural designs, from Chinese temples to colourful French colonial buildings, and of course, the iconic Japanese covered bridge. But what's the second thing that comes to mind? Hoi Eng is renowned for its delicious food, so in this video I'm going to show you the top places to indulge in the local food and coffee shops. Let's go! First up we have Mi Quang. This little stall is located right in the middle of the ancient town. Although you do have to come early to this one as they stop selling around 9am. Also this one is vegetarian but there's one right next to it which sells meat but that one stops selling even earlier. So make sure you get here extra early if you want to try some Mi Quang. On your visit, you definitely have to try the Ban Mi. This little shop is pretty famous with people often queuing out onto the street, which is easily explained when you see how jam-packed the Ban Mi's are with different meats, veg and the delicious pate. The first thing that I noticed about the banh mi's in Hoi Eng was the shape, which is different to the ones that you find in Ho Chi Minh. When the French colonised Vietnam, Hoi Eng kept the same recipe of the baguettes and haven't adapted it, showing further how Hoi Eng truly likes to preserve its history. If you're looking for a good Instagram photo alongside drinking really good coffee, then Fairfo is definitely the place for you. After placing your order on the ground floor, head up to the roof where you can overlook the rooftop houses of the Hoiang ancient town. Honestly though, I don't recommend sitting and drinking your coffee on the top floor as it does get quite crowded and very hot, even in the morning sun. But inside the decor is equally enticing with comfortable seating. I always know when it's a good coffee shop, when the coffee is strong and they serve you it in a bin with ice on the side. This coffee shop is truly unique and not like anything I have ever been to before. This is another place we just stumbled across and we were really confused when the servers were not saying anything. Then we soon came to realise that this is actually a silent coffee shop. So you use these little blocks to communicate with your server and when ordering you just simply fill out the sheet. So we ordered the local coffee and the Robusta coffee. If you like your coffee sour then definitely go for the local one but personally I I wasn't much of a fan. In this coffee shop, the ice came as what we assume was frozen coffee. But yeah, this coffee shop is a must visit. It is extremely unique and honestly, I think it might be one of the best coffee shops I've ever been to here in Vietnam. You might notice when coming here, that there are a lot of places selling gum ga. It's served with carrot, papaya, onions, and of course, the iconic fish sauce. Rice is normally the cheapest meal in Vietnam, but when we heard it was 50,000, we were thrown back a little. 50,000? <laughs> wow, Edward. <laughs> but in the end, we came to the conclusion that it was definitely worth it. Okay, so this place is definitely a must if you are staying by Ang Bang Beach. We actually ended up coming here every day and we always ordered something different. They specialise in vegetarian foods with eggplant and tofu dishes, although they do also sell meat. The Gao Lao tastes just like if you were to buy it as street food in the ancient city. 
They also have a wide range of drinks at a reasonably good price so you can just buy it here and take it to the beach and then you are avoiding those extremely overpriced cocktails or mocktails or even coffee from the beach bars. The best way to get around Hoi An is definitely by bicycle. The hotel where we stayed actually had them for free but we also decided to rent them within the ancient town in the evening. Big mistake. It was so busy that most of the time you found yourself just pushing your bike awkwardly through the crowds. So after this frustration, we decided to venture out of the touristy area, which is where we found this place. It specializes in just four dishes. Bandap, Jebap, Henchon, and Gaolau. And they had definitely perfected their recipe. The price was a lot cheaper than if you were to buy it in the centre. So you should definitely come here to try some local authentic foods. Just over the bridge from the ancient town is the Hoi An Night Market. But before arriving at the market, we were pulled in by a Gao Lao place. The food was delicious with a pretty good view of the bridge we just walked over. I do think it was a little expensive for the amount that we got. But as tourists, you know you're going to end up paying a little bit more, which is fine when you think about how you're supporting these local businesses and keeping them afloat, especially post lockdown. So the Hoi Eng Night Market opens at 4.30 p.m. and finishes at around 10 p.m. every single day. It was also a lot quieter on this side of the bridge compared to the ancient town, which is good. It was nice to get away from the crowds and to eat some really good food. Ban Bot Lop was already my favorite Vietnamese street food, but this one was the best I've ever had. This little stall was located just on the corner of where the night market starts. So definitely worth a try when you come here. Okay, so I showed this in my previous video because I thought the process looked really cool, but honestly, it was way overpriced at 40,000 for something which didn't even remotely resemble ice cream, like it stated. But Edward seemed to like it though, so I guess that's all that matters. Overall, I think it goes without saying, Hoi An has a good range of delicious food and coffee shops. Of course, during our stay, we couldn't go to every food place, even though we wanted to. So if there are any places you have been which wasn't mentioned in this video, then definitely leave it down below. Also, if you are yet to travel to Hoi Eng, definitely check out the vlog we did previous to this one on the Hoi Eng travel itinerary. Thank you for watching, I hope you subscribe, like this video and yeah, I will see you next time. Bye bye!